We're going to be looking at how we're providing a new fast mechanism for customers to search and export data sets in bulk using the new Export Entities API. By utilizing a new Export API tool called Export Entities, customers can reduce the stress and load upon their address manager, therefore increasing the resilience of their IPAM infrastructure. The new API utilizes a new entity extract service in the client layer, but it does provide us with a light and optimized way to fetch data, it returns JSON datasets, features better control of memory usage when preparing those large datasets. It can be used as a generic service, so in future, the new Integrity 10 Address Manager GUI could use it as well. And it supports multiple methods for easy extension in the future. It currently includes support for two selectors, a search function and an ability to get an entity tree. And it also supports regular user defined access rights, giving much better performance than before. In demo one, we're making a call to the new Export Entities API to emulate the operation of the older search by object type API. We'll be using the search method. The API will use a parameter list compatible with the older API. We'll be asking the API to search for any IPv4 blocks which match the keyword asterisk RFC 1918 asterisk. So to make the call, we're performing a HTTP GET against the Export Entities URL. I'll select criteria using the search method with a keyword set to asterisk RFC 1918 asterisk, and we've asked for IPv4 block types to be returned only. Upon sending the HTTP GET to the API endpoint, we are promptly returned a dataset containing all the matching IPv4 blocks from the address manager. In demo two, we're going to make a call to the Export Entities API again, but instead of using the search method, we're going to ask the API to return all IPv4 blocks, networks, and ranges using the get entity tree selector method. This call will recurse using my default configuration as a starting point and return any entities which match. The API call itself is to the exact same endpoint in demo two as it is, was in demo one. However, the parameters for the API are different as we're using the get entity tree method this time. The start entity ID is that of a configuration within this address manager. We've asked for any IPv4 blocks, networks, addresses, and DHCP ranges to be returned, which reside in this specific configuration. We'll promptly return the data set with the required parameters. We can quickly request other types too. We could mix IPv4 and IPv6 together, but in this instance, we'll update the call to select just the IPv6 blocks, networks, addresses, and DHCP scopes in this same target configuration. Demo 3 is very similar to Demo 2. This time, we're still making a call using the getEntityTree method, but we're going to be passing in the optional children-only parameter to get only the immediate children of the starting entity ID. We're going to use the same types, but this time, because we have a configuration as the starting entity ID, only blocks can be the immediate children, so the network's address's scope should be omitted from the JSON return. Our export entities call is to the same endpoint as demo one and demo two. It's a get against the slash export entities endpoint. Our call parameters are identical to demo two with just the addition of the children only option. This time around, the call has returned only the JSON dataset of the IPv4 blocks, which are the immediate children of the starting configuration. No other data is returned. If we now adjust the API call to use the entity ID of one of the IPv4 blocks returned from the first call, we should see the effect of the children only parameter again. This time, the call will only return any sub blocks or networks as those are the only possible children of an IPv4 block. Adjusting the API call again to use the returned entity ID of a network, we'll see the children only parameter force the return of only addresses or scopes as those are the only possible children of a network. When utilizing the new export entities call, customers can reduce the load and stress upon address manager, therefore increasing the resilience of their critical IPAN infrastructure and automation tasks. And by returning data sets quicker than before, automation completes faster, helping customers drive rapid change to innovate faster.